The world is an invisible prison that cannot be seen by most. This prison is designed to know everything about us. This system, this new world order, is a snare for the weak. But for the few, for the truly enlightened ones of the earth, they will make it out of this matrix alive and into eternal life. Soon, this system will make it almost impossible to get out of it. There are cameras in every street corner and in every building and in everyone's phones, in the social media, in everyone's vehicles, and in every single card that is given to us. Everywhere we go, we are being tracked. Many are learning to live off the grid for a reason, because they know we are in the calm before the storm. But the weak are dancing to the tune of the system and the pleasures it offers to all. The new world order is tightening up its borders and getting ready to try and lock everybody down. The walls that are being built around the world, including the one in America, is a disguise to make it hard for those who will try to escape. Most do not realize that the American government and all other governments of the world are working behind the scenes with the New World Order. The world has been taught to trust in their government, which are the kings of the earth the Bible warns us about, who are in harmony with the Antichrist system that is almost complete. One of the visible signs that this new order is almost complete is the attempt to disarm the global citizens of their weapons, for they who would choose to rebel are the enemies. Most don't realize how the government is using false shootings through the news media, who is also working in the deception of these last days to deceive the people. It is all fake news. It is Satan too. Yes, even Fox News, who the majority of the Christian world puts their trust in. All the major news outlets are a part of this deception in lying to the people and making them believe what they want them to believe. And that includes Alex Jones, the Jesuit co-agitator, who is part of this New World Order system, who is there to get people to look in another direction. And we cannot leave out all those who are working for YouTube, which YouTube is bought and paid for and is controlled by Google, who is in connection with the government. There are many YouTube channels that are very popular, like Anonymous and all these popular channels that are getting the people to look in another direction. Many are starting to wake up to the reality of the world that we are all living in today. They are realizing that once we are born into this world, we become a slave to the global control of modern Babylon, which is controlled by the Antichrist. After one's birth, we are given a birth certificate, and then a social security number, and then later, even a driver's license number. And then, also, if we plan to travel anywhere around the world, we are given a passport number. As human beings, we have a God-given right and a freedom from our Creator to travel anywhere we please so long as we do not hurt or affect others, but that has been taken away from most people. Today, it is not difficult for the system to track us down anywhere we go and shut our ability down from buying and selling if we do not comply with the New World Order and its agenda. Soon this system will compile all our information and our buying and selling abilities into one device to make things easier and more convenient for all global citizens. This new device will make it easier to track its citizens anywhere they go in the world as they focus on centralizing everything and as they become more organized they will provide an illusion for all to see the convenience behind it. But it is a trap to enslave us even more. This card or chip 
will store absolutely everything about us it will have all of our personal and banking information on that chip having one simple card or chip will clearly make it easier for the system and its citizens many citizens do not like the idea of installing a computer chip in the body or in the hand as they say so more than likely it will not happen because it is a deterrent from the truth to keep the masses looking the other way from understanding what the real mark of the beast is about a chip will fool no one because that is what they have been taught to believe that is the mark of the beast when it is not the new world order is soon going to try and force everyone to worship the antichrist but many are going to rebel against this system because we know that worship is due only to the God of heaven and earth and that is who we are called to worship for all that he has done for us and this system is in direct opposition because those of us who understand biblical prophecy and what Satan's work has always been it is he that wants to be worshipped above the Creator and we as Christians are not to pay homage to him or any other institution that wants to destroy the real truth about who we are called to worship and that is God alone this system is all about power control and forced worship like it was in the dark ages which the Antichrist is going to do everything he can to make sure that we comply and receive his mark we must comply with the government of God and his laws and submit to him perfectly in love or else we are showing our allegiance to the Antichrist and his laws we must choose to serve God or man but we cannot serve both the creator of the universe has given everyone a soul a mind a heart to decide in their God-given free will who they will worship honor and serve those who do not believe and willfully reject the creator of life by submitting to the Antichrist system in his day of worship that is built on a false Christ false doctrine and false worship they will die eternally in their rejection by receiving his mark and his image and for those who want to remain in willful ignorance will not stop the storm of chaos that is coming upon the land and there will be no rapture that the Christian world has been taught to believe in that will save anyone out of the storm of testing that is coming for all the time of trouble that is coming for everyone which will prove who we profess to be and what we have built again our life upon soon lip service will be tested Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come, and worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. In the book of Revelation, we can see how there is an angel flying in the midst of heaven with a message that we are to worship him who made heaven, earth, and the seas and the fountains of waters. Why do you suppose that the world needs to be enlightened about worshiping the creator God? Lord Jesus Christ when we look into the world today just as prophesied that the Antichrist would think to change the times and laws of God as Daniel chapter 725 prophesied and by doing so the Antichrist would blaspheme God Revelation chapter 13 verse 6 God knew that his seventh day Sabbath law that was written in stone would be changed in the last days that would bring homage to the Antichrist over the Creator. This is why Christ stated in his Sabbath commandment 
to remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy, because he knew the world would be taught to forget that day. Satan through the Antichrist wants to be worshipped. He has always wanted to be like God. And as long as the Sabbath commandment remains, homage cannot be paid to Satan through his Antichrist. So who changed the seventh day Sabbath? By finding out who changed the seventh day Sabbath, we will know who the Antichrist is. And then we will know what day it is that brings homage and worship to him. The Bible says, remember, that thou keep holy the Sabbath day. The Catholic Church says, No, by my divine power, I abolish the Sabbath day and command you to keep the first day of the week. And lo, the entire civilized world bows down in reverent obedience to the command of the Holy Catholic Church. The Catholic Church goes on to say, The authority of the Church could therefore not be bound to the authority of the Scriptures because the church had changed the Sabbath into Sunday, not by command of Christ, but by its own authority. Sunday is a Catholic institution, and its claim to observance can be defended only on Catholic principles. From beginning to end of Scripture, there is not a single passage that warrants the transfer of weekly public worship from the last day of the week to the first. Sunday. It is the law of the Catholic Church alone. Sunday is purely a creation of the Catholic Church. And history shows that many have suffered torture because they would not rest when others kept Sunday, for they declared it to be the holiday and law of Antichrist. Martin Luther, the founder of the Protestant Reformation movement that protested against Rome, clearly said, I despise and attack it as impostuous, false. It is Christ himself who is condemned therein. I rejoice in having to bear such ills for the best causes. Already I feel great liberty in my heart, for at last I know that the Pope is Antichrist and that his throne is that of Satan. The Roman Catholic Church has been instrumental in tearing down the law of God and has caused the world to believe a lie. The Bible goes on to warn us. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever. And they have no rest, day or night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. And in the very next verse, the Bible goes on to say, Who will not receive the mark of the beast? Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. The world through the Roman Catholic Church and her daughters have been taught that the law has been done away with, when in fact that is a lie from the depths of hell. That is exactly what Satan wants the world to believe. Satan is the author of rebellion, and just as he started in heaven, he is having everyone on this planet to continue in that rebellion against God. Satan is the author of disobedience towards the God of heaven and earth. He has worked very hard for almost 6,000 years to destroy the law of God. And it is through the Roman Catholic Church and those that have surrendered to her authority who have been instrumental in destroying the law of God. So does the Roman Catholic Church plan on enforcing Sunday laws? This organization proposes in every possible way to aid in preserving Sunday as a civil institution. Our national security requires the active support of all good citizens in the maintenance of our American Sabbath, 
Sunday laws must be enforced. When Sunday observance shall be enforced by law, and the world shall be enlightened concerning their obligation of keeping the true seventh-day Sabbath over Sunday, then whoever shall transgress the command of God to obey a precept which has no higher authority than that of Rome will thereby honor and worship the Pope above God. They are paying homage to Rome and to the power which enforces the institution Sunday ordained by Rome. He is worshiping the beast and his image then. And as men are prophesied to reject the institution which God has declared to be the sign of his authority and honor in its stead that which Rome has chosen as the token of her supremacy, they will thereby accept the sign of allegiance to the Antichrist Pope and the mark of the beast. And it is not until the issue is thus plainly set before all the people in the world where God is giving everybody a chance to repent, and that they are brought to choose between the commandments of God or the commandments of men, that those who continue in transgressing the law of God will receive the mark of the beast. And as we know, prophecy says that those who choose to not receive the mark of the beast, they will not be able to buy or sell. And thus, the Antichrist Pope, through all his agencies in the world today, will stop all from participating in the global economy who will not comply with his Sunday law. And for those that do not want to believe what has been spoken this day, take a look at John 14.29. And now I have told you before it come to pass, that when it is come to pass, ye might believe. 